Ivy. I decided to try a new convention this year, and I'm at TGX. It's a, a gaming convention hosted by UCSD, and this is their map, Scott Tex. And so far, it's been pretty good. It's a fairly small con, but there's a lot of stuff going on in gaming tournaments. So I really suggest it if you really like gaming and that kind of stuff. I'll talk more about everything that went on and how my experience was at Artist Alley soon. So this is my booth and placement in the Artist Alley. It was pretty fun and I met a lot of people. And I thought my setup looked fairly decent. I had a lot of new art to show off, like my Diva, Peach, and a 2B print. I had a special sticker just for the expo. I had something new where I showcased some of my traditional artwork and processing artwork that shows how I go through the process of making a certain art piece. I had some of them for sale and unfinished ones were not for sale. The artist alley as a whole was pretty small, but it was proportional to the convention size. I met a lot of really cool artists that welcomed me with open arms and super warmly. They had some really cool stuff and I really suggest you check out their artwork and wares. I'll try to include as much as I can in the description so you can see. On the first day of the convention, I had the privilege of speaking at a creative panel as an artist and a cosplayer. I met a lot of other really cool professionals and I was really excited to share my story and who I was. It was my first panel and I think it went really well. The second day of the convention I cosplayed as Miku. This costume is something I've had since I was really young and just started getting into cosplay, so it was nice to see how much my art has grown and how much I have grown as a cosplayer and artist. Right next to my booth was the Twitch stage and booth. I thought it was really cool that the convention was sponsored by Twitch. I'm hoping I can get a partnership one day, but for now, I'm gonna do my best to stream as much as I can. In front of my booth was the Rosewell booth. They gave out so much stuff at the convention, it was crazy. I felt like most of the raffle stuff was donated by them. It was nuts. Towards the front of the convention was the main stage where there was competitions for gaming. Next to that was a sponsored table with Soylent. It tastes interesting. Not my favorite, but I thought the chocolate Soylent was okay. On the white bottles, the original flavor, you could draw on it with Sharpie, so I took the opportunity to draw Miku. In the far back corner, there are places where you can challenge your friends in playing games. Most of them were set up with Smash Brothers. I didn't really notice any other games, but a lot of people were playing. It was really cool. There were so many sponsors and companies showing off their technology. It was really cool. Oh, and did I mention that it was also sponsored by Red Bull? I didn't know that. <laughs> if you're really into gaming tech and PC modifications, I think you would have really liked this expo. I unfortunately do not have as great as an appreciation as many others do but I could find a way to appreciate it with the really cool lights and rainbows. There were two different ballrooms where the event was held. The second ballroom where I am right now was quite cool and I think it would have been nice to be in here as an artist. It was quite cozy. I liked it.
Huge shout out to my boyfriend for helping me throughout the weekend. I don't think I could have had as much fun without him there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Triton Gaming Expo. It was a privilege and honor to be at the convention. I hope I see you guys again next year.